Hey guys, it's Carrie Ann. Whenever we're traveling with the kids, one of the best ways I find to really sort of understand the area, especially if it's a new area, is to experience it through food. And it's a pretty tasty way to experience it too. Sometimes finding good food can be a bit of a challenge, especially if you're not familiar with the area. So my recommendation is to try a food tour. On a recent trip to London, England, we took advantage of Eating Europe's London tours, specifically their East End tour. And I want to take you on just a quick highlight of some of the tastiness we experienced. Welcome to St. John's Bread and Wine, guys. This fantastic restaurant um, has been here just a little bit over 10 years, and it was definitely part of that foodie revolution that took place in this neighborhood. Our first tasty stop was to try a traditional bacon butty, which is really a bacon sandwich. Then a brief walk over to the English restaurant for one of my favorite traditional dishes, and it's bread and butter pudding. Delish, and you have to have it with the custard. It just adds a whole new level of taste to this particular dish. Although we went on the East End tour mainly to experience the food of the neighborhood, I loved that Eating Europe's tours are all about exposing you also to a bit of the history, some of the stories that were shared, the buildings that were pointed out, really giving you a more rounded experience. Because this is what the East End used to be. It was a maze of these narrow alleyways and instead of these fancy posh restaurants and shops, you had coal smoke blowing in front of your face so thick you could barely see. Ladies of the night roaming about because this is one of the oldest red light districts for a long time. Our tour included one of London's many markets, the Spitalfield Market, which is in the East End, to experience some hand-crafted cheeses. I really We're like the, the, the cheese, first one. And, uh, nice and soft. I'm gonna, yeah, it's soft. Better than the Do you have a cheese you liked? Which one was your favorite? The second one, the one with the, oh, the blue. blue. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's just like dad. He likes that too. Fish and chips. What goes you can with smell the you're walking down. Absolutely, you can smell it right now. Uh, it's a very famous British dish. Another classic London food dish has to be fish and chips. And poppies by far had to be one of my favorites, and we tried a few. Now, Lenny's not the owner, although the owner does still live up above. Lenny is also not the barman, or even the, uh, the local old guy that sits at the bar and tells stories every day. Lenny is, of course, the pub cat. I love that all the pubs in this country have a cat or a dog or some kind of animal in there to, to keep you company. Of course, no food tour experience would be complete without a visit to a traditional pub for a pint of ale. So the big difference between an ale and a lager is that lagers are served cold, um, they're pasteurized, and they pump artificial CO2, like a cake, that would be like a lager. And so that you get the bubbly, crispness, and coldness, whereas ales are unpasteurized, um, they are fermented at a warmer temperature, and then they're served at a warmer temperature. Curry is another London traditional dish and Bangletown, which is in the East End, offers some of the best in the city. These guys, this shop is the most famous bagel shop on this side of the Atlantic. And they churn out over 3,000 bagels every single day. Now our salt beef also happens to be boiled, this time with salt and spices. And it's um, similar to corned beef, it's thick cut, really tender and almost crispy in this taste. Now we've got a little bit of hot English mustard on there, some sweet pickled gherkins to round everything out. We've got our hot English mustard, which tastes very much like wasabi. 
One of the last stops on our food tour had to be tea and tart, which was a nice way to round out our whole experience. They weren't kidding, the folks on the tour, when they said, come hungry. With the number of stops we had, the variety of food we had, we were pretty full by the end of our visit. <laughs> London can have a reputation of not having very good food. Our Eating London tour showed that London does offer foodie families a lot to sample, and that was only in the East End. I'll be sure to leave a link below to the full post with some more photos from the experience as well as the link to Eating Europe's variety of London tour. If you like this video, like to see more videos like it, please give it a little thumbs up if you so desire. As always, you can find me here on Thursdays talking about family travel, but I'm also here talking mom confessions, books for kids, and just other fun family activities. So. Don't forget to subscribe so you know when the next video is published. Until next time, ciao.